All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, I wanted to do an episode where I explain video games to a person that doesn't play video games. Because here's the thing. I do a lot of episodes where I talk on video games. And I feel that I never really gave an introduction to video games from my point of view I but I think a lot of people know where I stand when it comes to video games. You know, there are some good ones and then there are some bad ones. But I feel that somebody that listens to my podcast frequently, um, some of them might not be gamers. You might not be playing video games like how I play video games. Or maybe you did at one point in time, but you don't anymore. And that's what I'm more so going to be explaining. But I am going to talk on video games in the past, more so using them as an example. But I wanted to explain the current state of video games right now because, believe it when I say it, and if you did play video games back then, like if you had a PlayStation 2 or anything before that, yeah, video games has changed a lot since then. You know, it's it's not it's not the same games that you play. Like there are some good ones, and then there are some ones where it's like the developers, the publishers, everybody behind that game doesn't need to have a platform anymore. You don't need to have it where your game is being sold on Steam, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam is a uh, like PC gaming service. You know, they you go out and get yourself a gaming computer. I am I'm I'm going to be talking on everything possible from gaming computers to consoles to video games. I'm I'm gonna be talking about it all. All right, but no, let's let's talk on uh, video games. Well, I feel like I should start it off by talking on the consoles because there's there's really only right now two consoles you well i there are some other ones but i feel like the two that matter the most is xbox and playstation them are the two where it's like okay you are going to hear that debate more than and i know some people might be all like does nintendo have any consoles that's currently out right now yes and no it's like it's half console and have um handheld uh like portable and stuff so they do have a ha- half a console I'm a, i am going to call it that because you can plug it up to your tv if you have like this docking station and then you can sit down and play it as if it is a console but then you can snatch it up out the docking station and uh play it like it's a handheld device but they uh have the nintendo switch that conversation never gets brought up with uh, Xbox and PlayStations. I feel like when people talk on consoles, they always talk on them two consoles. So currently right now with Xbox, they got the Xbox Series X and S. So them are the same consoles, but it's two different versions. So in reality, it's really, it is just called the Xbox Series. But the X is the disc version, and then the S is the digital version. So the Xbox Series X, um, so you can buy a disc uh, for the video game. And then, uh, yeah, put it off up in there. You can still buy digital games, too. It ain't like it's just strictly a disc console. Uh, you get best of both worlds with the uh, disc version. Because if you do want to buy a game digitally, you very well can do that. Rather than on the Xbox uh, Series S, you only get one. You only get digital games. They don't have no um, disc version of the Xbox Series S besides the X. So if you are looking for a game, I guess like if you are thinking about getting into consoles... And you want to, you don't know which Xbox you should get. If you just, if you want to, I guess, like have less space and you know you're not going to be asking for your money back a lot, because I am going to explain that the refund policies with games too. I will explain that. But um, yeah, if you know that you plan on keeping a video game and you don't plan on um, getting your money back like this, there is a game that you're like, no, I want to play this game nonstop. I'm not going to um, ask for my money back like this is a good game. Like I played this before and it's fun or I've watched content on it and it looks fun and you know you ain't going to get your. Yeah, then that's when, uh, you know, you get the uh, Xbox Series S. Or, yeah, the digital game, but then with a disc game, for me at least, I know I uh, get some games on uh, disc because uh, there's just, currently right now, there's a lot of untrustworthy games out there, you know, and I, I'm, I'm going to get to that, but we're going to continue on talking on the consoles. And then PlayStation, they are currently on their um, fifth uh, PlayStation, the PlayStation 5. And yes, they do have the same thing too, but it ain't no different names. They just got the PlayStation 5. Is a tab, I guess, like for somebody that's new to gaming, I can see how you would make that mistake 
where you're wondering like which one is expensive and which one um or which one is the digital version and which one isn't the digital version the disc version and stuff and yeah with playstation you pretty much like whichever one is more expensive that's gonna be the uh the disc version but i would definitely ask um before you just jump out and buy but you would be able to like look and see on the box they so there will be a line where the disc um will go at um for the disc version and then with the digital version there ain't nothing there so it's just yeah it's just uh um, more of the uh, cover part and stuff, but yeah, definitely what uh, would ask, and then uh, they should have it on the website. Let me check real quick. Like, let me go on Best Buy and see what happens if you search up PlayStation. But they should have called it like PlayStation Five Disc and PlayStation um, Five Digital, or even just had like PlayStation Five Digital and things. But anyways, let me let me look it up real quick. Uh, PlayStation Five. Let's see, let's see, let's see what they got going on. So they have, oh, actually, oh, well, it is like slightly uh, cheaper and stuff. So they got currently right now, oh, they're already, dang, they're already on the Slims. I didn't, well, I, I mean, I I guess I kind of knew that. But at the same time, it's like, bro, really? I'm like, dang. And then they have it where the digital version, which, so they are coming out with like a special edition. It's the 30th uh, anniversary edition where it's going to be the same price as the disc version that's currently out right now. And what's crazy, they're talking about it's the slim, but it costs the same price as the uh, the regular version that I had got. I ain't get no slim unless like that's what they're calling it. But it on well no actually no there it, it is slightly different but it's the same price. I'm like no I you would think that the slim would be cheaper but I I don't but they do that they'll come out with like a PlayStation Five PlayStation Five Slim and then they'll come out at some point in time with a PlayStation Five Pro and I know if you're wondering like what's the difference because I for the PlayStation Fours they did do that they came out with a PlayStation Four PlayStation Four Slim and then a PlayStation Four Pro and I know if somebody would ask like well what's the difference like is it kind of like an iphone thing yes that's exactly what it is so they have like their standard one where it's uh it's gonna somewhat get the job done then they got the slim one that's better than the uh standard one and then they got the pro version which is like it's supposed to be a top tier console and i remember when i had my playstation 4 and that's why i'm not gonna be so quick to jump up and get me a playstation 5 pro when they do announce it because really it's like you know eventually it's gonna get old Games are going to get more, I guess, advanced, not in a good way, but in a way where it's like it's going to require more from the console, and then eventually it's going to be at a point in time where you are going to have to jump up and buy a PlayStation 6 because the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to get too old. So yeah, it's like really at the end of the day, you know, it, it's best, it's best honestly to get a gaming PC. And because yeah, right now with consoles, because at least with a gaming PC, you can, you will have to replace the parts, and I guess, like, if you don't want to do that, and then I guess, it, it, in a way, it is cheaper to just go out and get a console, um, but at the same time, I just feel like that it's more, you get more with the gaming, um, PC, because there's more games to play, uh, I know there are at times where PlayStation, um, will release a game on, uh, Steam or something, or have it where they release a game, um, for, like, all platforms, so include Xbox too, because there have been some games that they've done that with, and, uh, I think there, what game was it that I just seen that was coming, I, oh, Predator, so they, for the, uh, the, uh, the, the movie that they came out with back in the, uh, what was it, the 80s or the 90s with Arnold Schwarzenegger, so they did make a video game, but they made it exclusive on, uh, PlayStation, but I just seen a, um, trailer thing today where the game's gonna be coming out on, uh, Xbox, so I was like, oh, okay, that's cool, but, yeah, that's the thing, too, where they got, like, exclusive games for both, um, uh, Xbox and PlayStation, but, uh, at times, like, you can't find those, some of them, I'm not gonna say, well, with Xbox, you can find, um, all of their exclusive games on PC, because they do have a PC, um, app, so if you get, like, a Windows-based computer, then you can, uh, I think, yeah, it comes, uh, pre-installed, or actually, no, I think you have to install the Xbox app, so if you don't want to go out and get you an Xbox, you can go and get an, uh, um, a gaming PC, then you could play a lot of Xbox games on there, um, I'm trying to think, do they have all the, I'll have to check again, but I think there might be some games where it's only exclusive on the console, or at least they don't have it on the, uh, Xbox Game Pass, but they might have, like, a PC version, um, of that game and stuff, but anyways, uh, yeah, but it's, like, it's just an ongoing debate with both consoles, and I know somebody would have asked me which one is the best, 
you know, PlayStation got their perks, Xbox has their perks, but I would say Xbox, in my opinion, is a little bit better. You know, you get more, because both of those uh, platforms, they do have subscription services, and that's what confuses me, because I remember at one point in time, PlayStation didn't have no subscription service, so if you do some research... Uh, PlayStation 3, they didn't have no, and I remember that, I remember that time frame, and it was like a small, uh, window of when I did play online games on the PlayStation 3, but, yeah, you didn't need to have no, um, PlayStation Plus to play online games and stuff, so, yeah, that's a big thing now where a lot of multiplayer games exist, and you need to be subscribed to both Xbox and PlayStation to play these, uh, these multiplayer based games, so, and it's weird too, and I'm like, I know people are probably wondering, like, wait a minute, you almost said subscription games, like, are there games out there that exist like that? So far, I've only seen one, and that's on a PC, and speaking of PC, let's start talking on gaming PCs. So, there is a lot of different gaming PCs, and I know that'll probably be overwhelming, like, it ain't like how it is with um, Xbox and PlayStation, you know, like, what's up with the gaming PCs? Why is it that when I look up gaming PC, you can look up gaming PC, hold on for a second, let me open up, um... Uh, Because I mainly be seeing them on uh, Best Buy and uh, Amazon. But yeah, let's just look up Gaming PC and just see the amount of brands that exist. Because there's there's so many different brands. So you have iBuyPower, HP Omen, CyberPower PC. uh, You got it like, and then they have like a bunch of different um, models and stuff. So, um, but I, that's the one thing that I'll say about gaming PCs is that you're going to want to go for the, uh, most expensive one because that's going to be the one that's going to be able to do more. So, uh, yeah, they got like a lot of them out there where it's like some that's 2000. Oh, and then that's, uh, uh with the Xbox and PlayStation cause I forgot to name the prices of them. So currently right now they're sitting at uh hold on for a second. Let me open up, um, Xbox. Uh, well, like, yeah, let me just uh, open up another Best Buy page because I did already open up the gaming PCs and stuff. So let me look up Xbox Series. So Xbox is uh, for the Series X and S. So they got um, the Xbox Series X, which is what um, the price that I paid for for it. $499.99, and then they got the uh, Xbox Series S that is $299, so I guess, like, <clears throat> um, well, and then, actually, I think they, uh, um, that one hasn't came out yet, but they are coming out with a newer version of the uh, Xbox Series S, which is, it has more, it has double the memory of the uh, Xbox Series um, S, uh, the first one that they released, so anyways, uh, so the Xbox Series X, it comes with one terabyte of uh, memory, so it, it, it does, um, you can't have some games on there, and then that that's another thing that you can buy, like a memory um, extender. But be careful buying those, because I remember I bought one, and it did it wasn't even compatible with uh, the uh, Xbox Series um, X. And so you had to get like this really expensive one. And I'm like, fam, come on now. It's like y'all y'all could have uh, did things better with that, because I, I find that kind of messed up. Where there are some that works, and then there's some that don't. So yes, there are like outside companies that will try to make some money off of the uh, Xboxes and stuff. And I'm like, fam, I I just find it kind of silly, but. Anyways, and then the uh, um, the OG Xbox Series S is uh, um, comes with 512 gigabytes of uh, memory, and then they got the new one that's going to be coming out with one terabyte of memory, and that's going to be 349.99. So Xbox is keeping it uh, cheaper than the PlayStation, and they all have like no special editions. I think when they do, they uh, usually um, yeah, it's like it, it's not really all that expensive, and I think if anything, it's always like some. Uh, cover or something with it but anyways and then the uh playstation 5 so they got the um the disc version that's 499 same price and then they got the uh disc version for the uh playstation or the digital version for the playstation 5 that's uh 499.99 so i thought it was cheaper but i guess it's uh i i yeah i guess it's um it's not and uh they well i was gonna recommend this uh handheld device that they got called the playstation portal which is uh like it's a remote play version of a uh, playstation so you will have to have a playstation 5 in order to play off of it but uh it, it's not really all that good i bought one and i yeah i made the mistake of buying one it's somewhere i'm like i, I you know if i would have known what it was I'm about I would have definitely saved my money on that so if that's something that you do see I would recommend you save your money on it but anyways um and then they got uh Asus and so that going back to the gaming PC so they got a lot of different brands that's on Best Buy and then same with Amazon they got whereas Amazon I feel like might have a little bit more but anyways uh Cyber Power PC um so yeah I set that brand already uh they got one I ain't never heard of them called Skytech 
uh let's see um tech magnet uh thermal take they got some nice looking ones too but uh stg um uh uh braun a uh, braun or something like that i don't know but that uh is a much more cheaper gaming pc that one is 399 so i would definitely recommend you stay and it doesn't have good ratings either so yeah there are gonna be some gaming pcs they ain't got no good ratings and i definitely recommend you uh stay stay far away from the ones that don't have no good ratings but anyways then they got aces raw i see i said aces already but yeah they got a lot of different um gaming brands out there and the one that i have so i done so far um currently right now i have two gaming pcs one that i'm not um using and then there's other one the other one that i am using and the one that i am using is a uh, i buy power i did before have two um cyber power pcs and the other one was like kind of like a cheap um affordable one i think that one was like 400 and something and i had just got that just to be able to record content off of it and then uh i got a more expensive one did a lot of upgrades to it and then as the time went on, that one started getting old. And so, yes, gaming PCs, um, at least the parts inside of them do get old. And then, uh, yeah, after a while, you will have to uh, upgrade the parts and stuff. And I mean, like, so I, um, I know for a graphics card, because people kind of raise the prices for buying graphics cards. And I kind of find that uh, stupid. But anyways, um, let me see. PC graphic card. Let's just see. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. One for gaming. So... They're a little pricey. Um, I'm seeing a lot that's like, uh, uh, well, these are actually not like the latest ones, but there's like $299, $284, $281, $209, $309, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $310, $
you know, you're like, yeah, like years ago, like 20, 30 years ago, there was this brand of candy, right? I thought of this example prior before um, the uh, this episode, and I was like, I feel like this is the best possible way to explain gaming. So anyways, there's this brand of candy, popular brand of candy, at one point in time was dirt cheap. You could go off up in there and, you know, drop a, uh, um, uh, you know, a 20, uh, yeah, tr- yeah, drop a 20 on this, uh, like a bunch of the bags of candy, right? Like you could go crazy with them. Like candy, candy will last you. It feels like a lifetime, you know, it's like, and the thing is this, the candy was good. You know, it brought joy and happiness to you. It was your comfort candy. You just be sitting around like you was like, bro, from uh, Tokyo Drift. What was that guy's name? Han? I think that was that uh, dude's name. Fast and Furious Tokyo. Wait, Tokyo Drift. What was that dude's name? Uh, Han. Yeah, you was like Han when he would be eating the whatever it was that he was eating. But it was it was the best candy of all time. No arguments about it, right? And then as the time went on, the candy got smaller. And you're like, oh, okay, you know, it ain't really that bad. Like, I could still drop $20 uh, on this candy and get a lot and things. Now, think of it like this. And this is the really messed up part about it. 2024, you know, it's been, a, it's been a minute since you've had this candy. And you're all like, dang, man. Like, I, you know, I like, let me, let me see if there's a store that still sells this candy. So you go into a Target, right? Go into a Target, you ask them, hey, do you guys have this brand of candy? They say yes. It's in aisle whatever, the candy aisle, all right? So you get kind of mad because you all like, okay, you could have told me a number, but I guess, yeah, if you just want to tell me the candy aisle, I guess I'll look for the candy aisle. So anyways, you do all this searching around throughout the store. Found yourself in the electronics section. You realize you went too far. Now you got to backtrack, and now you ain't seen the foods and stuff. So you're like, okay, I'm getting warmer. You then came across the candy aisle, but you're at the other end. I'm adding some more dra- dramatic effect to this, okay? Fo- fo- follow me, all right? People, follow me. But anyways, you're at the end of the aisle. You walk towards, you get closer and closer. You see the name of the candy, and you're like, oh my God, bro, this is it. This is the candy. This is the candy that I grew up on. But you then seen that this bag is crazy small. Like, not even enough, I'm telling you right now, it ain't even enough to last you until you walk from the store to the parking lot. And let's say you park in one of them parking stalls that's like right there by the front door. You can eat that candy right moments after buying it and still have time to kill to walk to your car. That's how small the bag is, right? And guess how much the price is for this candy? Like, it's that small, but guess how much the price is? $20. The candy done went from like what a dollar. It went from like a cheap price to now it's like it's for a small little amount. It is now twenty dollars, and you're like, "Fam, what happened? What's going on? You're paying for uh, you're paying like you think you'd be paying uh the price that you'd be paying back then, and you're getting less, but you're paying more." That's what gaming is right now. You get less in a video game. There's at times, and there are at times where, like, you know, there are games where it's in early access, but they still give you a lot. They give you a lot of content. And I'm like, shout out to those developers. And them be the ones where it's like them, them candies that be on the side where it's all like, you know, it's a hit, but you know, you ain't really fooling with it because you don't know too much about it. You only know about the big candy. So overall, go for them smaller candies. But anyways, or at least the, the smaller brand candies and stuff. But anyway, but yeah it's like you know you go ahead and uh you do all that just to find out that it's all like fam this is pointless like what am i buying this candy for that's how it is with the video games you're paying for more but you're getting less there are games that i played back then where it was like bro you wasn't paying no 69.99 for a video game additional money for the uh extra stuff that they got like yeah the dlc's okay you know like that that's something where i'm all like yeah but the dlc's wasn't mad expensive i seen where this one video game there's this video game called destiny 2 when it came out i think that game was like 59.99 when it came out and the dlc's were like 10 15 dollars right they done now switched it to where they made it seem like the game was free But it wasn't free. They actually took away the original content from that game and then added some missions back later on. But they're expecting you to pay how much? Hold on for a second. Well, how much was the price of the last uh, DLC? Destiny 2, the final uh, shape. The price for that. Okay, 
$49.99. Now, mind you, when this game came out, it was uh 50 and it's crazy. That game currently got a mix or the DLC got a mixed rating. I remember everybody was talking all good about it when it came out, but now it's like, yeah, people realize you're not getting a whole lot with Destiny, and that's a game that I, I paid for, and they took away that content, and that's something where I'm all like, it trips me out because it's like, fam, I never asked you guys to take away my con the content in that video game, not the content that I paid for. If it was like free content in the game that y'all decide to take away, then okay. That wasn't free content. I paid for that. So it trips me out that it's like companies get away with that type of stuff and we can't do nothing about it. We just got to accept it. Now, I do like the fact that in California, they are passing a law where uh, they must tell you that, I guess, like, games, and this is something that games do too, but they shut down after a while. There's a video, another video game that I bought called The Crew, where uh, the developers behind that, they just randomly decided that we're going to shut this game down because it's an online-only game. It's a multiplayer, so, like, you can't play the game. So, like, let's say, for an example... Uh, your Wi-Fi goes out because that's something that I've experienced. But there's at times where I'm playing a single player game and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I can still play this game, you know? And that's one of the main reasons why I'm all like, you know, if you do have some like, or if you can find a store that sells old like PlayStation 2, like games that didn't require no online access, definitely invest in those types of stores. Because there's one store that I found where they sell a lot of different old games and I am so happy about that. But anyways... But yeah, it's like, you know, you got some uh, games out there where they're online only, so it's like you need a, a, a Wi-Fi connection to play them. And the crazy thing is, it can even be a game where it does have a single-player option, but still, you need to be connected to your Wi-Fi to play it. For an example, Call of Duty is set up that way. So yeah, let's say for an example, you're playing the campaign mode. Out of nowhere, game lags you out, or yeah, the game logs you off because you've um, been disconnected from your Wi-Fi. I think when I last played the game, that's what happened. And I'm like, fam, I, you know, well, not the last time I played the game, but I just remember there was a time when that had happened, and I'm like, bruh, really? I'm playing the campaign mode. How did that, how should that even affect me if it's like, if it's a single player, it ain't like there's other people in this game, but yeah, they got Call of Duty all set up in a way where it's like, it ain't like the old Call of Duties pretty much. Like you can look at Call of Duty Black Ops and you can look at the latest Call of Duty and there's two different types of Call of Duties and I'm just confused by that. But anyways, um, but yeah, it's like overall though, they do have it set up that way where it's like you need to have some Wi-Fi connection to play the game. So yeah, it's just to me, it's just, it's, it's stupid. But that's that's where we're at with gaming right now. So if you are um, and the, and with uh, Xbox and PlayStation, I think I did say that they you do have to have a membership. But on uh, P on gaming PC, you don't have to have no um, membership and things or have a subscription uh, uh, membership uh, with Steam. Yeah, you don't have to have one uh, with the Xbox app. You do, I guess, if, if you are trying to play online games, um, but they have it where it's like it's uh, it's somewhat cheap. I think it's like fourteen or fifteen ninety nine or something. Well, I actually, I think they are raising the prices for that. But anyways, regardless. Um, but yeah, but on uh, on uh, Steam, Epic Games. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Yeah, they don't have to. They don't have it where I'm. I'm trying to think. Even with uh, they have like Ubisoft Connect, and they don't have it on there. Dang, I just realized that you don't even need no online access to play those games. Dang, so it's like it, it's probably. You, when you sit down and think about it, you probably would be spending roughly the same price for video games. Um, if you, I guess, if like if you were to get like a uh, gaming console and then uh, you know get like uh, some extra memory, and then there might be some games where you have to buy and stuff. But I, I say it's like, um, yeah, it's like it's well, it may no, I, I, I guess if you do get you a really expensive gaming PC, then yeah, then you probably will be spending a little bit more, but, uh, yeah, it's, like, roughly, um, around the same price and stuff, I guess, like, if you don't get you a crazy expensive, like, because there's some gaming PCs out there that's, like, two, three thousand dollars, so, yeah, if you do something like that, then, yeah, you, you, you should be chilling, all right, you shouldn't be having to do no upgrades for no, um, for a while, but, yeah, man, you know, gaming right now, it's, uh, it's in a weird place, and, you know, I wish it was, um, like how it was back then, but, yeah, for some reason, they're like, nah, we ain't gonna do all that, we gonna pretty much scam people overall, you know, and there are games out there that are like that, you know, where it's like, you, you're pretty much getting scammed, so... But anyways, with that being said, uh, but yeah, you know, for my non-gamers out there, if you guys do have any questions, I do stream on Twitch, and uh, if there's like a game that you're looking at that you would like, if like if you um, are wondering if I played it, most likely I have, 
But uh, yeah, over, you know, the funny thing, uh, kind of getting off topic, there is somebody, because I have like uh, some handheld um, gaming, there are such thing as handheld gaming PCs too, but I, I might do an episode strictly talking on the handheld gaming PCs, but anyways, but um, no, they do have some, uh, well, just to mention them real quick, yeah, so there are some handheld gaming PCs, they don't play like gaming PCs, like they're pretty much like a, a, a smaller version of a laptop. So, uh, and they do have gaming laptops too, if you are wondering that, but the handheld gaming PCs, like they got the Steam Deck, they got the Lenovo Legion Go, and then they got the Asus ROG Ally, but I think they just recently came out with a new one called the Asus ROG Ally X. So, uh, um, they, uh, yeah, they're, they're good, you know, they, uh, they do get some jobs done and things, but in my opinion, it would be better just to get you a gaming PC, like they do, I, if you were to get any of those, I will personally recommend the Lenovo Legion Go or the, uh, Steam Deck, because in my, I, those are the two that I have, or I do have an Asus ROG Ally, but the battery on it is horrible, the Lenovo Legion Go got a lot of dope features, and games are more compatible, they're compatible too on the Lenovo Legion Go, but they're uh, there, I feel like they're a tad bit more compatible on the uh, Steam Deck and stuff. But, anyways, um, but yeah, what was I getting ready to say? But no, yeah, if you do have any questions um, about like video games, consoles, gaming PCs, I stream on Twitch twice a day. Uh, so follow me on Twitch. Make sure you turn notifications on. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, subscribe, viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe, viewing this on podcast streaming service. Thank you guys and peace.